the burning forests around the world are igniting new political discussions. And it's given rise to a new term, climate diplomacy. The European Union is trying to use climate policy as a bargaining chip in their negotiations with other countries and international organisations, a new form of diplomacy. Climate is definitely a huge threat multiplier, and it means that particularly in, in fragile regions or regions already kind of recovering from wars, climate impacts can be the reason why peace breaks down. And that is something that thankfully a lot of European countries have been very aware of. And so actually over the past 10 years, there's been quite a lot of activity by European countries, particularly in the UN Security Council. For the EU, 2020 is a significant year. The UK is leaving the EU and will then host the next COP, the world's most important international climate conference. But Brexit could affect the EU's fledgling climate diplomacy goals. The UK has the largest number of climate and energy diplomats within the European kind of Team Europe approach to climate. And so if those are withdrawn, then Europe definitely needs to supply more diplomats itself, because otherwise it is going to be losing almost 150 diplomats. And at the minute, there are very few other European countries that invest quite as much in climate diplomacy in terms of actual people on the ground who can have these day-to-day -day chats with the ministries in, in your Nigerias or in your China. The European Commission's new Green Deal is supposed to serve as a standard bearer for the EU's climate diplomacy, but achieving carbon neutrality by 2050 is proving divisive among member states. We are a little bit worried because we see that this is very green but not very fair at the moment. So I want to make sure that my colleagues understand that this must be the subject of a special attention at the moment. EU officials say climate action is no longer limited to the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, but that it's also a tool to mitigate the impact of environmental change on peace and security.